Hi guys and uh, welcome back to the channel. As you can see, I'm in a tent in November um, and the weather's pretty mild at the minute. And I'm back up on Exmoor, took a drive up this morning about three and a half hours. And I'm at a wild campsite at the moment, which is actually shut down for the autumn and winter and it won't be open till next spring. But I know the owner quite well and he's allowed me to stay here for three to four days, just depending on how long I stay. But um, yeah, I've got no means of electricity here. Um, because everything's switched off, everything's um, done now for for the autumn and winter. So I've got the uh, EcoFlow River Pro and a solar panel as well, 110 watt with me, and that's going to basically be sustaining me for the two or three days that I'm here. Hopefully, we've got a bit of sun so I can charge it via the the uh, 110 watt solar panel. And um, this is the River Pro there. So I've got I've got my there we go at the moment, 99 hours, 100%. Light on and off. You've got a USB-C, 100 watt, USB-A's and a fast charge. You've got your DC there and you've got two AC for plugs there. And that's basically gonna sustain me for the time I'm here. So that's for um, my mobile phone, my iPad, my uh, MacBook Pro, all my camera batteries, you name it, kettle, my fridge, and that's literally going to keep me going for the two, three days I'm here. There's forecast quite a bit of sun for tomorrow and the next day, so we should be able to just use the charge overnight, put it on charge throughout the day, hopefully absorb all that energy from the sun. I'll keep that ticking over, and um, yeah, we'll be good to go for the whole time that I'm here. Um, what I'm going to do now, I've just set up a tent, um, set up everything inside the landy, going to get some kit out, get it all ready, going to start early morning sesh tomorrow morning along the river, hopefully nice and early, see if we can find some dippers, because that's really what I'm here for. I was initially going to come here for red deer, um, it's certainly the end of the rut now, but things are still happening, so I'm hoping maybe if I've got enough time is to spend a bit of time maybe out in the hills with the red deer hopefully, but I'm going to stay along the river here because it's a beautiful location where I am, and I'm going to be in the search of um, some dippers. Nice and easy photography, nice and relaxing, and hopefully we'll um, get some magical experiences with the dippers along the river. So guys, this is me set up for the time that I'm here. So got me food there, got me lagopus, uh, tragopan hide there, got me clothing, got some water, I've got me food, I've got a lot of boil in the bag stuff, got me tram gear, got all my cami stuff, walking kit, wellies, you name it. And here we have all the photographic kit as well, all good to go. And now I'm gonna head out along the river, hopefully we can get some dippers. Absolutely beautiful here at the minute. I can hear it's thrushes in here, red wing, field fair. There's a few little fire crest and gold crest in here too. Beautiful. It's so quiet here this time of the year. November, half term's gone. The red deer ruts tailed off. There's not a lot of people around. Perfect time. Red wing and field fairs in these two berry bushes here, two hollies. So skittish though. So here we are guys on one of my little favourite stretches of uh, a river just near to where I've camped. And uh, the river's running quite a lot stronger than I thought. Um, not too strong for the dipper, I don't think, but it's the water level is actually quite high. So here we are at the moment. So I'm going to case out the spot for kind of five minutes, uh, just to see what what's about really. I've seen the dipper on here loads before. Um, brought the camera with me just in case. But really, this is just a little bit of a walk along the river, stretch my legs after a long drive, and uh, yeah, just bring the camera just in case something pops up in front of me. But. Uh, you know, you could be here for an hour or so before it turns up, but hopefully it's a really good stretch of water, quite open. There's a little bit of light coming here too now, so it's not too bad. 
Um, but we'll just sit, relax here, take it all in, and uh, yeah, just enjoy being here along the river because it's just wonderful here in that water. Yeah, so tranquil, absolutely lovely. Currently, currently got a dipper here, right in front of me, quite happily feeding away. It's getting quite close. It's really nice. Beautiful. Just trying to slow things right down. And hopefully, it's feeding amongst the current is quite strong and it's just happily going about its business. So I've now set the um, shutter speed at 1 and 13th of a second um, at f7.1. I'm slightly underexposing the image. Hoping if it sits still long enough, bearing in mind dippers dip. So getting movement like that could be a problem, but I'm going to give it a go and see where we are. Might just up that a little bit seems to be feeding around this little patch and it's probably there it is oh. oh it's an amazing little bird absolutely fantastic so i've just shot there let's have a look so difficult with that movement yeah so difficult Just trying to keep everything still, really. Might have to up that again. Here it is, there it is, just in the water. Lovely, absolutely lovely. So guys, found the perfect section of river here. As you can see, the canopy's quite open. Um, let's a nice bit of light in, and I'm not shooting too high ISO. I've got areas I can go along the bank there, tuck myself up, ghillie blanket on, right in amongst these rocks here. And if you look in here, there's loads and loads of perching points. I can't go too deep, because this water will be well above my wellies. But as you can see there on that rock, there's tons and tons of poo. There's tons of poo on that rock there. And this is an ideal spot for them to hunt in, forage for caddisfly larvae and all sorts of bits and bobs. Pop up, land on the rocks, a little bit of poop on that log. So this is a great little spot here, right next to the lovely bridge there. Perfect. So I think tomorrow morning, get down here nice and early, get the prime on, shooting at F4. Nice bit of uh, light gathering lens there hopefully position myself somewhere along the bank here. I don't think I even really need a ghillie blanket, but I'm going to stick one on anyway, get tucked in, get underneath, and then hopefully we'll have a cracking session with dippers. But a bit of a recce, nice stroll up the river. Going to head back now, clouds coming over, uh, get back to camp and uh, get some batteries on charge. And I've got a nice pasty for tea and I might have a nice beer. But, uh, and then I think, read a book and uh, early night, for dippers tomorrow. So one of the best things about the EcoFlow River Pro is that obviously when you get back, you want to charge your, your batteries up, camera battery, GoPro batteries, I've got my mic batteries at the moment, but obviously I'm using them for the vlog. Um, it's so simple. Lead out, 
you've got a fast charge there, or you've got the standard USB-A there, or you've got the USB-C. Slot it straight in, on charge, happy days. And then it's starting to already now output four watts there, charging them away. So now I can charge my mobile phone, I can charge a fast charge there, I've got another spare slot, I've got the two AC connectors there and I've also got the DC as well. And obviously tomorrow, once I've charged up the rest, so my two um, batteries for my uh, mic, and I'm gonna charge my camera battery again, and I'll power this for my uh, MacBook Pro as well. And once I've done that, tomorrow I'll leave this out, I'll leave the uh, solar panel on top, and it will charge the rest of that up. And one of the best things about this is, guys, well, it's got the app as well. So you just go and do a connect. Now that little Wi-Fi signal comes up there. Now it's looking for it. So we've got that coming up there now, guys. Just click that. Boom, straight away. There we go. Output, three watts. 99 hours of charge for, that, for those two batteries there. Okay, obviously, the more you put in, then the more it obviously takes out. But that's pretty much it guys. Um, obviously you've got your light there on and off, you've got your 12 volt DC, USB-C, AA and your fast charge, all there, happy days. So I can be in my tent, wherever, this can be plugged in, going, I can monitor it all day long. So really, really good. Yeah, cracking bit of kit, I couldn't do without it to be honest for the next two or three days. Um, be charging all manner of things, like I said, my MacBook Pro, my camera batteries, GoPro batteries, mic batteries, everything. So uh, yeah, good stuff. Anyway, gonna uh, get some tea on now and a brew and uh, yeah, call it an evening, I think. Moroccan stew and rice. Can't beat a bit of boil in the bag. Beautiful.